All righty, Roo, so a massive update today. We have a Google AI Studio are building out their own vibe coding tool. Apparently they've been working on this since May and I've been testing it for the last past uh, few hours and it's pretty damn good. I have to say, you just go to the build section here and then basically what you can do with this tool is like all the things that you can see or you can do with Gemini in the API. You can just add them in here and then describe your idea. So, you know, for example, you want an app that has Nana Banana, you just add that in. It should also be able to do video. You just add that in. So all the things are being added in there that you might need in your app. So fast AI responses, video understanding, video generation. So all the things generate speech like 11 labs. So you can just mix and match all of these different, uh, I guess, skills to your app and then put in your prompt. It's also using 2.5 Pro, which is an amazing app. And this is all free, by the way. So amazing. You can also do speech to text. And just if I'm feeling lucky. So let's have a look. Uh, one of your questions maybe actually is, is this like a Bolt or a Lovable or any of this? Well, actually, it's going to have a lot of the, the same capabilities, uh, not at the time of recording, but according to Logan Kilpatrick, the uh, person who works at Google, he says that it will have a lot of things like database setup, file storage, authentication. Imagine that with Google, amazing, and API building. So all of this is coming, he said, this week. So really, really exciting. So just if you want to see how it looks, it looks similar to other coding agents. And yeah, I can't believe this is free. It's just, it's actually really, really good quality as well. So uh, it works uh, similar to the way that they normally work, right? You can see the little code boxes here. Uh, where you can add all the different features or whatever. You can uh, vibe code here with the speech to text. I got this working in two or three attempts, a little Italian app. Ciao, ciao, tutto bene, grammatica. So you can't hear the voice here, but it worked uh, pretty well. Uh, so this is what I'm talking about. You can just add the images and then, you know, maybe a chatbot or whatever like that. You can just add a chatbot. So really fast to actually add these capabilities, right? And you can deploy your app there up at the top here. Uh, whenever you want you do need a paid account to deploy them as far as i know but in terms of that it's not a paid account it's like a paid api account so you can put ten dollars on that or whatever and then you can, you will be able to deploy apps you can also save them to github so really really impressive other apps that i, I was impressed that i made i made this in one shot so it's like a coloring book creator so yeah you can change the theme generate a book download a book it all did it in one prompt. You can see there, I didn't add anything else. It made all of this beautiful little app for me. So I'm super excited about this. I think this could be definitely useful, especially obviously if you're going to be using Nano Banana or something like that. Just imagine creating a Nano Banana app, an image model that you want. And then if you want to bring it further, you can do the MVP very quickly with something like this. And then if you want to bring it further, then you can, you know, publish it to GitHub and then go to Cursor or something like this. So I just did a quick virtual try on of uh, adding my own photo and then a sombrero. So let's see if this one works. I haven't tried this out yet. To put the sombrero on. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I have to say, I was trying to do this in another app uh, to make these kind of inline edits. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with that. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that because I was trying to do something similar in another app and I couldn't get it integrated well because some of these apps, especially the image models um, and the video models, it's hard to get the documentation into behind the scenes and the integrations, right? How to act. Most APIs are fairly simple to vibe code the integrations, but something like Nano Banana, it is quite difficult because of the names of the models are Flash Model 2.5 or whatever. Nano Banana is like, it's hard to find the right documentation for the other builders. So definitely as I come back here, I keep coming back. What is it that you can create or want to create with an image model or anything that Gemini can do? I think this one here is going to be pretty amazing as well to use Google Maps data. Uh, this is with real time info and grounding. Let's try one of this. So for example, uh, show pizza restaurants when a person types their location. So this grounding actually allows you to have a 3D view. So let, this will be super interesting to, to see what we can build here. I think there's a million different uses cases we can do with Google Maps that haven't been done and vibe code before. So very important too. Okay, so that took about 40 seconds. So let's type in my home city of Dublin. Whoops, can't spell it. Dublin, Ireland, because there are lots of different Dublins. So let's see if this works. 
Okay, so we got results and sources from Google Maps. That's not what I wanted. So I just noticed they also have the checkpoint so you can go back, which is pretty nice. Uh, I like that. So they are obviously thinking about all the things that are in general uh, vibe coding tools. You can see the code up there if you want to change it. You can make duplicates of the app. Okay, and now we have a map integration with the pizzas. So pretty good. I did want something else, but let's see if I can get that. All right, so I got my app that I wanted. I wanted to make it 3D and see it like this. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. That's pretty amazing. Everything works, which is fantastic. I'll check this down below and subscribe to the channel if you want more vibe coding tools. Thanks for watching.